Good morning. The hymn this morning is number 937. 937. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And we shall praise your name. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Almighty God is the Lord, come let us adore him. Come ring out our joy to the Lord, hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks with songs let us hail the Lord. Almighty God is the Lord, come let us adore him. Almighty God is the Lord, come let us adore him. Come in, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God, and we the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Almighty God is the Lord, come let us adore him. Almighty God is the Lord, come let us adore him. For forty years I was wearied of these people, and I said, their hearts are astray. These people do not know my ways, and I took an oath in my anger. Never shall they enter my rest. Almighty God is the Lord, come let us adore him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mighty God is the Lord. Come, let us adore him. <clears throat> hymn 937. Lord Jesus, we must know you if we would make you known. For how can we proclaim you but by your grace alone? We long to know your fullness, your life of risen power. For you alone can answer the challenge of this hour. Our broken world is seeking what only you can give. Our words may go unheeded, but not the way we live. O Saviour, live within us, your life so strong, so true, that others touched with wonder may seek and worship you. Lord Jesus, by your Spirit, in you, your Church, we pray, till what we are makes valid the truth of what we say. So truly may we know you, so make your life our own, that you will become so like you, our lives must make you known. I will sing to you, O Lord, and I will walk in the way of perfection. My song is of mercy and justice. I sing to you, O Lord. I will walk in the way of perfection. O oh, when, Lord, will you come? I will walk with where they are within my house. I will not stand before my eyes or ever in place. I will hate the ways of the crooked. They shall not be my friends. The false-hearted must keep far away. The wicked I disown. I look to the faithful in the land, that they may dwell with me. He who walks in the way of perfection shall be my friend. No man who practices deceit shall live within my house. No man who has a shall stand before my eyes. Morning by morning I will sil silence all the wicked in the land, uprooting from the city of the Lord all who do evil. as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I will sing to you, O Lord, and I will walk in the way of perfection. O Lord, do not withdraw your favour from us. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers, and worthy of praise, and your name is glorified for ever. O 
For your name's sake, do not give us up utterly, and do not break your covenant. For we, O Lord, have become fewer than any nation, and are brought low this day in all the world because of our sins. And at this time there is no prince or prophet or leader, no burnt offering or sacrifice or oblation or incense, no place to make an offering before you or to find mercy. Such may our sacrifice be in your sight this day, and may we wholly follow you, for there will be no shame for those who trust in you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Lord, do not withdraw your favour from us. I will sing a new song to you, O Lord. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my arms for battle, who prepares my hands for war. He is my Lord, my Lord. He is my Lord, my Savior, my shield, my face of refuge. He brings the people of the mighty Lord, what is man that you care for him, mortal man that you keep him in mind? Man who's merely a breath, whose life fades like a shadow. Reach down from heaven and save me. Draw me out from the mighty waters, from the hands of alien foes, whose mouths are filled with lies, whose hands are raised in perjury. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I will sing a new song to you, O Lord. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. O come to the water, all you who are thirsty, though you have no money, come. Buy corn without money and eat, and at no cost, wine and milk. Hear my cry, Lord, for I hope in your word. I rise before dawn and call for help. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, save us from the hands of all who hate us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. A saviour who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. He 
He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, save us from the hands of all who hate us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Increase in us, Lord, your gift of faith, so that the praise we offer you may ever yield its fruit from heaven. We make our prayer to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit. On God for ever and ever. Amen. And may the Lord bless us and keep us safe today and all the days of our lives. Amen. Let us say the prayer for priests. Eternal our Father, we thank you for every priest who has faithfully given his life for the salvation of his brothers and sisters. We give thanks to those priests who have brought us your word of truth, the grace of the sacraments, and above all, receive the gift of the Holy Eucharist. Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, who called the apostles to follow him, we ask you to raise up new and generous vocations to the priesthood in our time. Send forth the Holy Spirit to open the hearts of a new generation to your call and enable them not to be afraid, but to recognize the joy of giving their whole lives in love. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord has been my strength. He has led me into freedom. He saved me because he loves me. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Good morning, everyone. This morning, once again, we gather to be the Church of Christ. Christ is with us as he promised. 
present in this assembly of his people, in the proclamation of God's word and in the com communion of his body and blood. As we do not have a priest to celebrate Mass today, let us reflect on the word and pray together. And then together share Christ's body and blood consecrated for us at the previous Mass. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and be truly sorry for them. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray that God will bring peace to the world and freedom to his church. Lord, guide the course of the world events and give your church the joy and peace of serving you in freedom. This we ask through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Ecclesiasticus. A man multiplies offerings by keeping the law. He offers communion sacrifices by following the commandments. By showing gratitude, he makes an offering of fine flour. By giving alms, he offers a sacrifice of praise. Withdraw from wickedness and the Lord will be pleased. Withdraw from injustice and you make atonement. Do not appear empty-handed in the Lord's presence, for all these things are due under the, the commandment. A virtuous man offering graces the altar, and its saviour rises before the Most High. A virtuous man's sacrifice is acceptable. Its memorial will not be forgotten. Honour the Lord with generosity, do not stint the first fruits you bring. Add a smiling face to all your gifts and be cheerful as you dedicate your tithes. Give to the Most High as he has given to you, generously as your means can afford. For the Lord is a good rewarder. He will reward you seven times over. Offer him no bribe, he will not accept it. Do not put your faith in an unvirtuous sacrifice, since the Lord is a judge who is no respecter of personages. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will show God's salvation to the upright. I will, I will show, show God's, God's salvation, salvation to the, the upright. upright. Summon before me my people who made covenant with me by sacrifice. The heavens proclaim his justice. For he, God, is the judge. I will, I will show, show God's, God's salvation, salvation to the upright. upright. Listen, my people, I will speak. Israel, I will testify against you. For I am God, your God. I find no fault with your sacrifices. Your offerings are always before me. I, I will show God's, God's salvation, salvation to the upright. upright. Pay your sacrifice of thanksgiving to God and render him your votive offerings. A sacrifice of thanksgiving honours me, and I will show God's salvation to the upright. I, I will show, show God's, God's salvation, salvation to the upright. 
Let us stand for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. You will shine in the world like bright stars because you are offering it the word of life. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. What about us? Peter asked Jesus. We have left everything and followed you. Jesus said, I tell you solemnly, there is no one who has left house, brothers, sisters, father, children or land for my sake and for the sake of the Gospel who will not be repaid a hundred times over. Houses, brothers, sisters, mothers, children and land. Not without persecution. Now, in this present time, and in the world to come, eternal life. Many who are first will be last, and the last first. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> what about us? We have left everything and followed you. In 1997, John was on a bus in southwest Uganda on the way to visit a mission hospital. He had been told to get off at the first road on the left after the equator. John from England was used to more precise directions. But sure enough, the equator was marked with a large white stone, and there was the road. This part of Uganda was unstable. John's host drove him over roads that had just been cleared from mines, and the hospital where the rebels and the army had recently been fighting one another. At the hospital, John met Dorothy, a Ugandan woman, who had some time before had taken pity on an orphan child and was now caring full time for up to a 20 abandoned children. Funding was precarious, security uncertain. Dorothy had indeed inherited the children and the persecution promised in the Gospel. Jesus' words dismayed the Apostles. He had just answered their question about how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God, and they were worried. What about us? Jesus makes them a promise, but it is only after resurrection that they will see it fulfilled in church grow. We have benefited the disciples' experience and long history of the church. A problem we face is as disciples is becoming cosy in our church institutions if we don't see them as being there for the sake of the gospel, they could become the world's riches as Jesus warns us against. Let us pray. Holy Spirit of God, prompt us when we get lazy, complacent and satisfied with external show and miss the heart of the gospel. Renew our faith and inspire us to follow Jesus more closely. Amen. <clears throat> and we now ask Mary, our mother, to join her prayers with ours, as we say. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. <clears throat>
Let us pray for the needs of the church and the world. The response is, stay with us, Lord, on our journey. Stay, stay with, with us, us Lord, Lord, on, on our, our journey. journey. Our sufferings bring acceptance. Acceptance brings hope. And our hope will not be, deceive us. For the Spirit has been poured into our hearts. It is through the same Spirit that we pray. Stay, Stay with, with us, Lord, Lord on, on our journey. journey. Help us to realise that our troubles are slight and short-lived. They are nothing compared with the joy we shall have when we reach our home with you. Stay with, with us, Lord, Lord on, on our journey. journey. Come to the lonely, the unloved, those without friends. Show them your love and help them to care for your, their brothers and sisters. Stay, Stay with, with us, Lord, us, Lord on, on our, our journey. journey. Take away our pride, temper our anger. May we follow you in your gentleness. May you make us humble of heart. Stay, Stay with, with us, us, Lord, on, on your journey. journey. Give us the fullness of your spirit, the spirit of sonship. Make our love for each other generous and sincere. Stay, Stay with, with us, us, Lord, on, on our, our journey. <clears throat> Merciful God, hear the prayers of your people. Give us what we need to follow faithfully the call of the gospel. We make this prayer through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Liz. <clears throat> Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
soul of my Saviour, sanctify my breast, body of Christ, be thou my saving guest. Blood of my Saviour, bathe me in the tide, wash me with water flowing from thy side. Strength and protection may thy passion be. O blessed Jesus, hear and answer me. Deep in thy wounds, Lord, hide and shelter me. So shall I never, never pardon thee. Guard and defend me from the foam alive. In death's dead moments, make me only thine. Call me, bid me, come to thee on high, where I may praise thee with thy saints for I. <coughs> Let us pray. God of salvation, may this sacrament which strengthens us here on earth bring us to eternal life. This we ask through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our service is ended. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you all for coming this morning. <coughs>